What is going on, guys? It's Corey from TD Nation 87. To those who don't know, I own a LSU Swap 1987 uh, rugs and I own a 2000 Mustang. That's going to be a Terminator Cobra, but that will soon be changed. Well, like the Mustang, like I said, either GT350 or a Dream Engine and Shelby GT500 Super Snake. <laughs> Yes, guys, that was the news for that I wanted to tell you about the Mustang. Anyway, for this, um, there's a new upgrade. For, and I have the windows open because I pretty much had to redo the window tinting. It's old window tint because it was stored in moisture when I was in another room, in a moisture room, and I had this tent for like a little bit over a year, waiting for the right time to install it. And I see waiting for the right time is actually, it cost me, that's why it's not trying to its perfection like it should. Little imperfections like here and there and stuff like that. This is what happens when you store in a, in a moisture, but it is a lot better than what this right here, except for some things there. But remember, a lot of all of that was uh, messed up, but now I fixed it. It's just that edge is bad. That edge is bad. And because that edge is bad, some of these is bad. Yeah, I'm not going to ramble about that because that's not what I'm here to ramble about. What I'm here to ramble about is I'm going to let you know about the new. It was essential. I don't know why this car didn't come with this. I don't know why this car didn't come with this upgrade. But understand why they would have two different options. And it's just not. I don't know why GM decided to do things like that back in those days. I have no idea. Let me go show you what the parts are because I know you guys are tired of waiting, tired of me rambling on. But if you haven't already, please hit that notification bell. Hit that subscribe button right up here. It'll let you know whatever time my video comes up. Please guys, it helps me out. It helps the channel out. I'm small, but I'm trying to get to it. I'm trying to get a lot of subscribers here. I'm trying to get to where I need to go. You know, change my life around. I'm trying to do things subscribe button hit that notification bell and become part of the tc squad so let me show you the parts all right three of them this year it ain't that perfect clean that one it's so nice. like a 350 nice it's uh designed by mercury marine uh -huh. That's uh, I think it's a race engine, but they have it is that broke 11 world records. I think that's the LT5. Nah, it, it, uh, it's a, it was a, on that. It was a special, yeah, it was a special engine. The yeah, LT5, is, LT5, there you go. That was, yeah, that was the one that broke the rail record that hit uh, 200. Body jazz, this is the one, this is the original one that hit uh, 230 miles an hour. Here comes off the ground, a little better tires, I think it would. Garage cap. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this this thing right now. Yeah. Right now the value is going up. Still a good car. You know. I bought it to drive it some. I keep it in the garage. I take it out once in a while. Thank you. makes a world of difference it'll get rid of that bounce that happens because what happens is the car squats it kind of bottoms out and bounces back and hopefully these limiting straps will help uh that and what do you think his camaro zl1 my iroc zl1 if you want it to hang more you can do that there's like comment down below grab this so let me tell you what's in this box i have to keep my hand over it because it has my address over but i have to cover this box I have to cover my address. 
But let's get into seeing what the new upgrade. All right, guys, covered it, by the way. The main reason why I don't really open the box up with you guys is for the fact because I don't know exactly which thing it actually is. I actually had to open myself. And plus, I don't like doing all this crap. Let's just show you what the upgrade is. Ah, there's some more that I need to cut. Camera dropped out of my hand when I did that last cut. Are you ready, guys? Damn. We have the new axles. Why do we have the new axles? You only can have new axles for one particular reason. You guys want to see the reason why? All right. I'll, I'll show you the reason why. I don't know if I can do them with the old ones or not because if I can do them with the old ones, it'll save me time. Remove all the stuff that we need to remove. One of the upgrades that I showed you before also come in place with this. Something seriously that I'm doing and there's more upgrades coming as well. The one upgrade, the reason why that I chose to get this, an upgrade that's in the car. I'm gonna show you this right now. Yup. We're going disc, boys. We're getting rid of those stupid ass, stupid ass, uh, to putting on some fucking discs. You're getting rid of that, those drumsticks. The only drumstick on this. All right, I'm gonna retrofit it. Yes, like a glove, guys. Like a damn glove. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Yes, like, like I said, we're getting rid of those red drum brakes and we're putting these disc brakes in. Let's we'll see if I can install them today. If not, they will be in the next video. Depending upon what time that we have. Trying to prop it up so it won't fall. Yes, we're going with this. Actually, since there's a lot more parts to talk about, we're just gonna talk about it. The installation video will be the next video. But I wanted to show you the axles. I wanted to show you that. I wanted to show you that right now. Sorry if the camera was just like looking like that and not looking at that. I love this car the way it looks. But anyway, where it's about the axles. The reason why I wanted to do that because I wanted all wheel disc brakes. There's disc brakes in there. New rotors and calipers coming in. Of course, you know about the front brakes. The reason why I decided to go with this because I want more stopping capability and plus now I want to go with a modern look. Plus, not to mention, when I did that um, montage a couple of videos back, really ugly as hell with the drum brakes on there. It'd be great just to see some disc brakes that are in there. And I was like, you know what? Let me get some axles. I don't know if I can use my stock axles. I'm going to try to see if I can use my stock axles. If I can't, then I'm going with this one. It's better to have something and not need it rather than need it and not have it. I could take my car to a first drive, break my axles, and I gotta wait a while. I gotta wait a while when I already have my axe, another set here. I pretty much thought in advance, if I can get this now, get this set in now, that'd be great. Hopefully it'll be in the next video, but I wanted to talk. My intention, the pur sole purpose of me getting the disc brakes was this is a track build. This is, it's, uh, she'll be going straight lines, but it is a track build. Now, like I said, this car is gonna be going around the track. I'm talking about tracks like, hopefully Laguna Sega, hopefully. Hope, but until then, there's like Pocono Summit Raceway. There's a couple of things I'm gonna need that. And I can't rely on drum brakes with a new setup that I, pretty much speaking of how you see this, it's, it's like, I'm taking like roads where you turn and then you like you make a tight bend and you go up and then there's like three more turns and there's a straightaway and there's like a loop and then it turns back into a loop and then it goes out and comes back and then goes into a straight. Yeah, that's what type of racing this car is going to be doing. It's not a straight line car. 
However, I do, I will take it to the drag strip. The time that I'm aiming for, later on, there will be a time, a, a good time that I want, which will be a 9.3 or 9.4. But until then, uh, that won't, I will, that upgrade won't be until next year with the way things are starting to go. This one, hmm, with the 85, my compression should be about like 10 1, 10 2, 10 3. 85 should probably bump it up to about like 10 5, 10 6. Actually, no, about maybe about 10 7, 10 8. That cam. Eh, not exactly what I was hoping for when I was talking about the whole port and polishing. But I'm hoping that I'll hit 500. I'm hoping that I'll hit 500 with a 3,100 pound car, 31, 3,200 pound car. I'm hoping to run maybe a 10, 9, 8. That is the time that I'm aiming for for this. That's not for that. And this is also, believe it or not, also a drifting build. Pro Touring, which basically means it does. Pro Touring is straight circuit and drifting. Yes, it's going drifting as well. I'm kind of a daily because I'll kind of take her out. But the way these idiots drive out right now, it's it's it's, it's sketchy. It's a hell of a lot better. It's on the tilt so it doesn't fall off. That's why you don't see. That's the main reason why I wanted to go the route that I want the route that I wanted to take. I've been hungry and I got to uh I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna finish off the vlog later. But I'm a little bit hungry right now. That's the one of one of that's what I wanted to talk about as far as concerning why I have the disc brakes and the reason why that I have it. Um to think about it. I I think I should show you what's I think I should tell you the whole setup. I think I should show you show you the whole setup. Exactly. That's what I'm gonna do. Hold on. Hold on guys, I'm gonna show you the whole setup. So like I said can't let you guys see my address. Sorry about that. I already had two weird people come at my house and said they see, never see me from YouTube and creep me out. So yeah, I'm covering my name now. It goes along with this. So other things we need to get as well. Yeah, I know that. I know I needed to get other things as well. That's what I'm doing. Get the knife here. Knife. Got it. I also have a backing plate in order to have them. But what happens is there's a square that's on there. The square, the square goes right here, and it goes like this. And wherever, wherever uh, how it lands, or how it lays, it goes. The square goes here. The axle comes up from here, and the the brake caliper goes on to here. I'll show you. I don't know. I don't know if you guys are not. I don't know if you guys can see me or not. Can you guys see me? Can you guys see me? What, how it goes is when the stock axles come on, then of course you put this here first and you mount to the square thing. And there's a backing plate that goes right behind it. Depending upon how it goes, but it, it, there's a backing plate that goes right behind this and the stock shaft right there. I lift this up so I can put on the disc brakes. But this is essentially, I'm trying to do this with match it up this is it's difficult to do all this with one hand especially these parts are heavy this is how it goes in the back it goes like this with the with the not exactly like this but it, it goes like this in the back with the backing plate as well with the square thing that goes next to here and then you have the brake calipers on top of this with those two things right there and that's essentially how it works yes i know i couldn't do the whole thing without it so that's why i got the whole kit so yes, that's why I said there's a lot to talk about. That's why this one is going to be the talk about video. Hopefully the next one should be the installation video. Like I said, oh, I talked about the tent going well. So for temporarily, oh. <laughs> guitar, right? Guitar. Guitar, right? But yeah, this is why I went the way that I wanted to go. Oh, Take the drum apart. I'm gonna see if I can do it with the stock axles. Like I said, take that wheel off. We'll jack it up. Take that wheel off. Take that. Well, no, I think I may have to take the axles off because there's a backing plate back there, and the backing plate can't go through that. 
And that includes opening the dip and all the other stuff and taking out the seed plants and the other piston thing. And like I said, that'll be in the next, hopefully it'll be in the next video because it's a lot. And I already talked to your ears off because I'm going to get something to eat because I am starving. And then I'll come back and I'll close out for you guys. All right, guys, I was stupid. It's, I do got to take apart the action. I do got to take apart the 10 bolt rear because I'll show you the backing plate. I got to take this wall off. And like I said, the backing plate can't fit over the hub. Thing. So I literally had to unbolt it, drain it, take the pin out, take the seat clips out, take the axle out. This is the only way I'm going to be able to do that. Like I said, I got to do that. And I got to, yeah, take that all off. So, and like I said, hopefully that should be in the next video. If you guys are like this YouTube for the first time, please like, subscribe, comment down below. You get a notification whenever my video comes up, please, guys. Hit that notification bell. It'll come up every time a video of mine comes up. It sucks the fact that I gotta take all that apart just to get this on, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? But all my social links are down in the links below Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at AdRogsGamation87, or you can look me up as TZNation87. Both, either or, it doesn't matter. You can still look me up, it'll still come up as the same thing. So with that being said, guys, make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Next video, hopefully, should be being following it. There's more upgrades coming, so hopefully next video will be the up up will be the install. The installation video will be the next video. So I'll see you in the next video. God. She looks nice. I'm only getting nicer. Yes. Hell yeah. Keep it T Z all the way to the end, guys. Take care and have a great day. Whoa!